If you've ever wanted to know how to make your footage look like it came out of a home video from the 90s, I've got you covered with this tutorial for Premiere Pro. So once you get your footage in place, you'll want to go over to your Lumetri color panel, and if you don't see it, just click this button and click color. Now we can start aging our video in basic corrections. Yours might be different from mine, but follow along and make your own changes as you see fit. I like to increase the exposure just a bit, maybe 0.5, and then increase the contrast to somewhere around 25. Then I set the highlights to about negative 15 and the whites to negative 40. Next, open up Creative. Set Faded Film to 20, Sharpen to negative 5, and Saturation to 90. Now go into Curves, RGB Curves. This part just needs some light nudges. Start by getting your white and just make an arc like this to blow it out a bit. Now select your green and from the top right bring it down just a nudge. Then go to your blues and do the same thing in the opposite direction. Last for our colors, and this one is easy, go to Vignette and set the amount to negative 1 and the feather all the way to the right. And that looks pretty good. Now let's add some effects. I'm going to go up here and set the view to editing just to give us a bit more room and then in our effects window type Unsharp Mask. Add that to our footage and then set the amount to 65 and the radius to 35. Now let's make it all a little staticky with some noise. Type it in and add it, then set the amount to somewhere between 5 and 15% and make sure to turn off color noise. Okay, this is my favorite part. We're going to make that weird distortion bar that you see in some old footage. There's probably a word for it, but I couldn't tell you. Anyway, go to Effects again and search for Wave Warp. Add it and then set the wave type to square. Crank up the wave width to around 900 and set the direction to zero. Set the wave speed to negative 0.1 and the pinning to all edges. Ah, oh, and look at that, perfect. Our last effect is optional and it's also the easiest. It's called posterize time and it's just gonna artificially drop the frame rate of our footage. If yours is like mine, it's gonna default to 24. So just reduce it to 20 or if you want your footage even choppier, go lower than that. And there you have it. Footage taken right out of 1990 in no time at all. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.